The unsealed indictment offers a stunning look at the allegations against the former president, including images of America's deepest secrets carelessly stored in a ballroom, a bathroom, and a shower at Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. Special counsel Jack Smith is unequivocal that Trump was not allowed to possess top secret and classified documents after he ceased being president. He's now charged with 37 counts, including conspiracy, making false statements, and a staggering 31 counts of willful retention of national defense information for keeping documents concerning America's nuclear weapons, foreign military capabilities, and top secret White House briefings. We have one set of laws in this country and they apply to everyone. It's called election interference. They're trying to destroy a reputation so they can win an election. Trump's That's fiery Thursday night offensive was quickly overshadowed. There are allegations he twice showed classified documents to people who were not authorized to see them. There is an audio recording of at least one instance. These are very serious charges. And there are also the kind of charges that are likely to be particularly easy to prove. The conspiracy charges allege Trump and his aide, Walt Nada, moved documents so they would not be found by investigators, even after the Department of Justice issued a subpoena for their return. There are multiple text messages, phone calls and conversations, including evidence provided by Trump's own lawyer that Trump asked his legal team to lie. This is information that could cause extraordinary harm to the United States uh, government uh, and to our national security if it's disclosed publicly. It's important to remember that it was a grand jury made up of ordinary citizens that voted to indict Trump based on the evidence. If he is ultimately convicted, he could face up to 100 years in prison. His first court appearance is set for Tuesday in Miami.